What's up YouTube, it's Jay Millionaire here with a quick review of some Nike SBs that just got dropped off. These of course are by the description and the tag. The Nike SB Dunk High Pro Decon Quick Strikes and the colorway of Sail, Blue Beyond, and Track Red and retail for $120. So the box is just a, like a regular um, Nike SB box, but let's get into the beauty. Okay. So a nice like wood grain paper, of course, and wow, the heat. Of course, like I said from the description, you know these are the Eyeshadow Wear Magnus Walker collabs. And just looking at them really quick, they're beautiful. I'll pull both of them out and I'll get into a little backstory on them, if you don't know already. And then we'll go into the details. We'll get the box out of the way because nothing special about that. But yeah, here they are. And off top, you can see one has blue laces and one has red laces, and there's some other hints. But like I said, I'll get into that in a second. Um, let's go into this one first. So, let's see. I guess the quick story of what these are, and I guess the story behind them uh, Magnus Walker and his brand, da -da -da, Urban Outlaw. Um, basically, he has a whole bunch of Porsches and collects them, has a whole bunch of them, whatever. Um, and this one's designed after one of his 1971s and 911s. Um, the color choice and the color palette is basically based off one of his, I guess he's his favorite car. He would keep at all, one of his cars out of his whole collection. And um, I guess you can, I guess, compare the car, look it up later, but it basically looks like that. The hood on the car is red. It has a 227 sprayed, uh, I guess, painted on there. Which, um, I guess, be th behind that, it literally means nothing. He just wanted a car that had 77 on there, so 277. He just painted on there. It means nothing else besides that, which is kind of cool in itself. Um, there's uh, blue hints on it, and then, of course, the hints on the inside, the plaid, is homage to the interior of the car. Um, let's see. The red and blue, of course, is just in the Porsche itself. And, of course, the vintage kind of aged look is homage to the 1971 car itself. Um, okay, so let's go into a little bit of the, the shoe, I guess, the materials, and some other little hidden tidbits, I guess. So, uh, whole upper on this is a white leather, but it's like a cracked white leather. And as you can see on this area right here, um, it's actually cracking off, and you can see it looks like leather behind there. And as you can see on this part, it looks like a tan or brown, or I guess in this, in this instance it would be a gold leather. Um, so the thing about the cracked white leather is once you scrape, scrape it off, um, it will eventually look that gold color. Everything everything that's white will, I guess, can be scraped off to turn gold. And that homages to the car itself. I guess the original uh, Porsche you bought was gold throughout, and he painted it white. Um, so I guess it's just to, I guess, simulate the age of the paint and that if you scrape the paint off, it would be gold underneath. So like I just said, if you scraped off the white, it would eventually look like this gold underneath, which is cool in my opinion. Um, other things about that, of course, it's Magnus Walker's um, logos throughout. Urban Outlaw and Urban Outlaw. And then, like I said, Nike SB, which is cool to have that on the heel. His 227, or 277, which is much his car and of course a uh, hints of his brand which in my opinion is like a british flag i don't know if that's the case um, but yeah it looks like his uh his logo there basically um, other hints of it are like i said the interior that has that plaid on one shoe is a red plaid and on the other shoe it's literally um blue plaid i don't have to look i haven't seen the car um recently um, but I think it has blue and red plaid in the seats or in the interior. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that's in the interior. Um, let's see. Of course, this comes, like I said, with red laces, blue laces, which is cool. Uh, but it does, just like any other SB, come with additional laces. The laces on here are just some flat laces with Urban, Out or Urban Outlaw. I was going to say Urban Outfitters. Urban Outlaw on the ends of the tips. And it comes with the uh, opposite blue and red laces that are flat. It also comes with a pair of fat uh, an SB type laces, and let me actually see if these have that. I don't want to bust them out, but whatever. So, damn, they did this really good. Um, see if these have that lace tips, lace tips on these as well. Damn, dude, how do you even get these up? Okay, so yeah, these actually have um, black or white with black logo uh, Urban Outlaw, um, which is cool. 
Um, other hints on this shoe with the interior guts, like I said, it is that blue plaid all the way in the interior as well as the tongue on this one, red on the other one. Manus Walker Urban Outlaw on the back of the tongue and the logo on the front that Nike ESB Eyeshot Magnus. Eyeshot Wear, Magnus Walker. And the, sh the tongue on here is different. It has kind of like a destructed, uh, I wouldn't say off-white, but a destructed 1980s or uh, destructed look. I don't know, I said like three times. But it has holes in it, which is a lot different than um, SBs. Uh, the tongue on here is super thin, like I would say like an original um, 85 is Jordan, actually even thinner than that. And the interior on the ankle anklets is super thin as well. And if you know SBs, the low tops or even the highs, they have a lot of padding on them. So that's an interesting look. Um, the heel on here, which is usually like some kind of synthetic leather or leather in general, is a canvas, a thick canvas. And like I said, it has a destructed look of the foam uh, showing on the tongue and on the upper part. And that kind of gold actual leather look is going throughout the whole shoe itself so that's pretty cool nice hint um, like i said crack leather throughout the whole shoe and they have this nice thick i want to say synthetic leather um but it feels kind of waxy leather which is cool with that blue and then again that kind of synthetic red leather um, pull tab again i showed that earlier but the hint of his logo and that Nike SB on that side as well as this side of the shoe. Um, the bottom of the shoe is red and blue with hints of white and they look worn already, which is an homage to the vintage car look or vintage look in general. They literally just like, I guess, uh, uh, slided some blue paint, kind of bluish grays paint on it from far away, it looks dirty. Up front, you can kind of tell the, the streaks on to make it look vintage. And of course, in the bottom, kind of the same thing throughout. And at, at a glance, they do look like they're, they're age or um, kind of uh, age rubber a little bit. Good, really good customization or um, I guess in, uh, attention to detail that Nike did on this pair. Um, let's see. See if there's anything different with the insoles in here. Uh, so this is for the right shoe. And let's see if the left shoe is any different. Let's just see, curious. So no, the insoles are the same. They just have the 277 on them, uh, Nike SB, Walker, and Wear. Um, just the last names or the first names are on uh, the tongue, which is cool. Same SB padding. And uh, yep, that's it. Uh, let's get into the tongue. Like I said, the interior, see all the, see if it focuses. The interior is all like gold in there. If it'll even focus. Gold in there, that I'll scrape off eventually. Uh, but let me look at the tag and see if I can get a good shot of that one just for the people who are trying to legit check or whatever. So, this of course is that my size 10. Yeah, so you can see that. It's not a great shot, but you can pause it if you want. But yeah, like I said, this is my size 10. Um, got it on these, even though that without the padding um, gauges or the consensus is just go true to size because without the padding, the shoe still fits the same. Um, I'm curious to see what they'll fit like on foot, but I've heard that they feel, you know, good enough or amazing. I don't know, whatever. But um, yeah, um, pretty sick shoe. Oh, I don't know if I went into this one. The Basically the same material as the tongue that came this material and same material up here um, is on both of the, the toes, that hood of the car. But yeah, I don't know if I missed anything on here. Um, let me know if I did in the comments, if you know any other, I guess, hints or things that I missed out to, to call out on the shoe. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful shoe. I'm glad I got it. And uh, you should try to grab a pair if you can. Because I guarantee you, years down the line, these are going to be one of those uh, super style out pairs. At least they will for, be for me if um, I get another chance to cop another pair for cheap. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Peace.